All right, hi everyone. And to see you here. Going to try something new with the video. I'm going to use a filter in front of the lens. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to hold it there. <laughs> but <clears throat> hopefully, this will be able to show you the rest of it. Here we go. Okay. I'm hoping that this will make it a little clearer to see, but we'll find out. Anyway, what I want to show today is a little. Um, I don't know if we call it an anomaly or not with the analyzer. Um, we're talking about the Rigel DSA815. You know, I mean, everything that's solid state these days with digital signal processing, they have a clock, they have a crystal, so it's going to be running at some frequency. It's just kind of a given. But <clears throat> I happened to notice I had an antenna connected to the front of the analyzer and was uh, trying to listen, or not really listen, but tune around the ham bands on 2 meters, which is 144 to 148 megahertz. And um, if I can get this to repeat, we'll see if uh, you can see what I can see here. <laughs> All right, um, center frequency, we'll do, we'll see, 146 would be right in the middle. The frequency, and then we'll do a span of 5 megahertz. Don't enter that. Check the frequency, so we we'll see we have a start frequency. Uh, 143 and a half and a stop 148 and a half and interestingly enough I don't see a signal there like I did before so let me see we can change the noise floor so what we're going to do is go into amplitude we'll turn the attenuator off because we don't have to worry about overloading the, the mixer and making it operate non-linear and we'll also go into the second page of the soft menus and turn on the RF amplifier. There's a signal I was seeing before, I think. It's a lot lower than it was last time. That's interesting, actually. The signal that we're talking about of interest is right here, I believe. <coughs> so let's see if we can get it to peak on that. No, not quite. So let's do frequency. And peak and center. There we go. It's interesting that I can't see that as well as I did last time. Let me put a termination on the bottom bottom of the antenna here. And no effect. Pull that off. Hmm. Well, I believe it was like 144.176, so I'm going to make that the center frequency. 144. Point one seven six megahertz, and then we'll take the span and drop it down quite a bit. It's actually shifting off to my right there when I do it. So we'll go back to frequency and center, and one four four point one seven six. Megahertz, move it back over. So, yeah, no, that was about right. It was around the minus 80, I believe. I think that's what I'd mentioned uh, to the rep at Rigel and to. Um, sorry about the glare there. Uh, T equipment. So we could do measure or marker rather. <coughs> Normal. One. Where is it? There it is. Get that up on that peak there. So it's like one oh, 144.11. It says, Let me try to see if I can narrow that down. We'll turn the resolution and bandwidth and the uh, video bandwidth down. And I think I'll change the span a little more and lower it. Look at that signal just a little bit better. Frequency, center to peak, span, lower it down a little more, get the noise floor down too, which will make it easier to see, and easier to measure. OK, 
Okay, bandwidth. We'll drop those down some more. Here we go. 100, 100 hertz, rather. That certainly took the noise floor for a crash and dropped it, didn't it? Um, so the bandwidth is lower. Span. Let's take the span down some more. There we go. <clears throat> Frequency peak. And there it is, center frequency it says uh, 144.1176. That's what it was, 1176, not 176. Um, at about minus 80 dBm. It's coming from the analyzer. I'm like 99% sure of that because I took my handheld, if I can get it here. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> took my handheld and turned it on. Frequency mode. And uh, I don't have an antenna on it, so I may not hear it. Well, we'll put a small rubber ducky on there. I don't think you can hear that, but that's coming from... The an that's the one that's coming from the analyzer, that's what I'm hearing. And when I turn the analyzer off, that signal goes away. But it's only there with the antenna right in front of the analyzer. I mean, if I, if you have, um, you know, an ear to an amplifier, any kind of a closed loop system where you're feeding it in and out of a circuit or passive or active, doesn't matter, um, as long as you've got co-action running it in and out. Or i got a hook to an antenna that's outside and it's, a, you know, a distance away from the analyzer. It's not going to see this signal. It's only when you've got an antenna right in front. I just happen to notice it, you know, playing around. Trying to see what I could pick up with just a little antenna on the front like that. So, for what it's worth, I thought it was kind of amusing and interesting. Not a problem. The analyzer's, uh, analyzer is a fine piece of equipment. It's, uh, it does what it does and does it well. But uh, just thought you might want to be aware of that when you hook an antenna to the front of it and try to pick up anything in the hand bands that are around that 114.1176 or correction 144.1176 megahertz frequency. And that was it. Thanks. You guys have a great day out there, and to see you at 7 threes.